what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're just going to talk about a brief rumor or speculation sort of a confirmation not by an official studio but by the actions of a certain actress telling us and hinting that she has indeed secured a role in screen five now many of you are of course familiar with the fact that the only known confirmed cast member for screen five that has been publicly announced as of right now to date is david arquette being brought back as the character dewey riley still waiting to hear whether or not courtney cox and nev campbell will get their official announcements but the fandom and myself included and many of you guys that watch my videos we've all come to the conclusion that courtney and nev will be back due to the fact of this of the recent leak that came from production weekly last week i know 3c films did a video on it that he uh found that he discovered some audition tapes due to the working title for screen 5 which is parkside alpha and one of the actresses that he found when he was going over that in his video was for jocelyn hudon who had audition for a role in Parkside Alpha aka Screen 5 to play a new character named Teresa. So it now looks like Jocelyn Hudon has in fact secured some type of role in Screen 5. Now whether or not this is 100% conf a confirmation or not that is yet to be seen. We'll of course find out in the coming weeks when the official casting has been announced. But Jocelyn Hudon's actions on Twitter, Instagram would all hint that she has indeed secured the spot to play a character named Teresa in Screen 5. Now, Jocelyn Hudon, of course, is the young woman in my thumbnail that you guys saw before you clicked on the video, and you'll be seeing images of her coming up next after this brief image here of Judy Hicks. Uh, but yes, Jocelyn Hudon, she has been liking and reacting and favoriting a whole bunch of fan comments on Instagram, Twitter. She's dyed, she's dyed her hair blonde, and she seems to, of course, be doing all of these things with her hair for a particular role she probably just landed, which is the role of Teresa in Screen 5. Now, what I did want to also give credit to and give a big thanks to is the website Hello Sydney, hellosydney.com. I used to follow this page and this site all the time during the era of Scream 4 when I was in school. So to have like a tweet of mine now being featured in an article on this website, which is dedicated dedicated to nothing but Scream content, it's a very, uh, very big honor in my opinion to be a part of this website and have news coverage on this website. So Hello Sydney did pick up on this stuff that I reported on my Twitter account. Uh, again, this all started with 3C Films doing his digging and finding uh audition tapes first for for a character named Teresa one actress that again we're talking about is Jocelyn Tudon she auditioned for that role of Teresa now it looks like she has indeed landed that role because what she's been doing is she's been going going into her comment sections like for for one thing here on Instagram someone left a comment under the under the picture she posted regarding her new hair she's they said are you gonna be in parkside like like this if you will she liked the comment parkside of course is screen five they didn't say are you gonna be in screen five they just said are you gonna be in parkside she liked the comment and gave it a favorite that doesn't mean necessarily of course that she's going to be in it because she can't verbally say that she is but actions like that of course yes we're gonna now assume that you secured that role you're a new cast member in screen five <laughs> um, and then based off of the images that you see coming across here, I don't know about you guys, but she looks like she could pull off the being our new final girl, being our new uh, person to take over should something, let's say, happen to Sydney in terms of her just dropping or giving the mantle over to carrying the franchise to another young actress. Jocelyn Hudon looks like she could pull off the final girl role. And I, if she looks familiar to you, to you guys, that's because you've probably seen her in a few few movies or TV shows. The most recent project I recall seeing her in was Pixels back in 2015. Uh, also, she did like one of my tweets on Twitter. Um, I did tweet out that she could be playing, I tweeted out that Jocelyn Hudon, along with another actor, could be playing characters named Ryan and Teresa in Screen 5. Um, she liked that tweet. So the fact that she liked that tweet, she liked this comment, she has multiple comments of people actually referencing this this character that she's auditioned for and and securing a spot in screen five and she's just liking 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 favoriting 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 of course that's not to say that she actually got the role 
but all of these actions and you constantly liking people's comments and their questions regarding it we're gonna now speculate that you landed a role in screen five and if you if you did uh congratulations to you because from what I've seen of Jocelyn Hudon and going back and looking at, she actually has a YouTube channel. She does have a YouTube channel. Looking at the actress's work and seeing some of her uh, performances from other films, she is. She looks like she would be a great attribute to the cast. And be it's nice to see another young young actor or actress coming into the fold to join Nev. Hopefully Courtney. Hopefully join David. Uh, and she looks like again. If the character Teresa is who I'm thinking it would be based off of who they potentially casted for the role, Jocelyn Hudon, Teresa might be our new final girl. She might be a new final girl to take over the mantle from Sydney Prescott. Sydney might be a start to become like a thing of the past while also still being very vital and important to the progression of this of this franchise we could see the narrative switch over to a new group of teens, a new girl, and I it looks like just to me, Jocelyn Hudon, she gives off that she gives off the final girl look. She looks like a final girl. She looks like someone who could be put into the midst of things uh, at the very center, have all this tragedy going on around her, have a final showdown with Ghostface at the end, defeat Ghostface, come out on top, just like Sydney has for four films in a row. So I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to see what actually happens from all of this. And I hope that uh she did manage to get this role if she didn't i am gonna be a little bit disappointed <laughs> because again her liking all these tweets and all of these things on instagram twitter it just makes me very excited to see what she has to do uh what she has what she has to offer for for this project because again we aren't able to see the audition tape but i'm just going off of what she looks like and the character Teresa. The character Teresa, based off of Jocelyn Hudon, if she got casted for this role, looks like she could be a final girl. Looks like she could be somebody to carry the franchise should we get a Scream 6 or even a Scream 7. I'm hoping we don't get anything beyond Scream 5 and Scream 6. Jocelyn Hudon, though, might be actually be our young woman returning to her hometown to investigate a series of murders. Teresa might be our main character in this film. Um, so we never know. We don't know what's going to happen. Jocelyn Hudon does seem to be hinting that she did manage to land a role in Screen 5. So she is another potential cast member at this point based off of her actions. I'm going to leave a link to the article uh, for HelloSydney.com where all this stuff is going on, what she's doing on socials and everything. I'm going to have a link to it down in the description so you can go view it. And though I'm not making things up because I know I don't have it coming across the screen for you to see everything like that. But I'll leave a link down to the article in the description. Also, just wanted to touch on a brief rumor that apparently is making the rounds. Apparently, Courtney Cox and Nev Campbell have not yet been announced or officially been brought on to the Project Screen 5 because they are not satisfied with the money they're being offered. Now, that's not to say that they're greedy. That doesn't make them greedy whatsoever. Courtney Cox and Nev Campbell are entitled to feel what they are worth. They're entitled to turn down projects if they don't feel they're being offered what they're worth. But in my honest opinion, I don't see any basis for this rumor. I don't see where it started other than the fact that the, a page off of Twitter, the Screen 5 Spain page, if you guys know that page, they're the ones who posted it. They're the ones who posted it. I asked them where they got it from. They can't tell me anything. So you can't tell me anything. I'm not going to really take too much, much to it. You're not someone who really has a reputable reputation when it comes to putting out news like that. So... I'm not going to really, really believe that if that is the case, uh, if Nev and Courtney can't come on board for this project to reprise Sydney and the role of Gail Weathers, my honest opinion, I'd probably scrap the whole project altogether until you could afford two actresses such as them. Because <laughs> it, it's either that or they're going to have to rewrite a script where Sydney and Gail Weathers are no longer a factor and you have Dewey inter intermingling with a fresh set of new characters. I don't think anyone's going to like that. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about Jocelyn Hudon possibly being in Screen 5. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.